all, Art History Babe Corey here. I am heading to Nat's house for an Art History Babe work weekend. This is our first attempt at a vlog, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully we get some good stuff and hopefully this will be interesting for you guys. But yeah, here we go. Hello. Hey. Hi. Just walk in and I already got a camera in your face. Hello. <laughs> to do list. Check it out. Probably won't get all of it done, but you know, we'll do our best. Is about it or Jen is here. Hello. We got the shoots fresh squeezed and uh I want that. <laughs> oh dang. Look at this shit. <laughs> what? And put it down so you can kind of Last minute. Here you go. Perfect. That was a great pour. You're natural. Yeah, this is dope. Oh, it's so cold. Mm. Alright, are you guys ready for a, a killer art history babes work weekend? Hell yeah. We got, we got a keg. <laughs> we got multiple <laughs> bottles of wine. Technically we have two kegs. <laughs> All right, these are Nat's um, artist <laughs> business cards, circa 2011. She's got some little demon people on her shoulder. 17 year old, 17 years old, so be kind. <laughs> They're cool though. Like, if I would have met you in 2011, I'd be like, fucking dope. <laughs> on a website too. Maybe Ooh. Go Daddy. Go Daddy. Go Zaddy. Yep. Time to be alive. It was a time to be alive. What was I doing in 2011? It's right before Obama's second term. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We were flying high. We were flying high. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we were. That was good. <laughs> All right, so this is our super high tech setup here. <laughs> it's beautiful. With hummus and burnt chips. We're gonna start the weekend off by recording our second Q&A episode, Q&A number two. This is a terrifying poonie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? I'm so professional, guys. Yeah, we yes. are. We are it's alarming. serious professionals. I was wondering if you had any advice for me. Like, what should I do to beef up my CV? How should I study for the GRE? Or anything else like that? I was working on my application to the deadline. Me too. Like right to the hour. Oh yep, my god. Same. Oh my goodness. Oh, when midnight I, on ooh. what was it? December, December like 15th. 15th. Yep. I love that there are death metal bands focused on a video game that are just like killing it. Like that makes me so happy. Dude, there's yeah. a death metal band that's point. 100% about ancient Egypt. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Hey ladies, I love your podcast. I personally greatly enjoy your shenanigans, but I would love to share your podcast with my high school students. It would be super amazing if you could release clean versions for the more Im impressionable to that. <laughs> Wait, what? Turdlets. Turdlets. I thought that's what that said. And I was like, no. Impressionable turdlets. <laughs> Lisa, you're adorable. <laughs> Just a suggestion. Keep it up, you badass bitches. Lisa. Nice. So. Great news, Lisa. <laughs> we got news for you. Uh, we are working on that right now. Thank you so much for listening. Have a good time. Bye. Bye-bye. really good. vegetarian gluten-free lasagna and some regular gluten meat lasagna. <laughs> meaty and meaty and cheesy lasagna. All the lasagnas. A lasagna for everybody. I love you. Alright, to work weekend. Work weekend! We are going to watch a Damien Hirst mockumentary called Treasures from the Wreck of the Unbelievable. Which I, I don't even know what to expect from this, but I'm very excited about it. Ooh, did you just g give us a mood lighting? I think there's a bear on my body. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and it's kind of heavy, so it's almost like one of those like uh, anti-anxiety blankets. So we're all super cozy, got the fire, and we're gonna watch this, this Damien Hirst movie and then do a Patreon extra about it. Art History Babe Work Weekend, day two. Clink. 
Jenny's here! Yay! Hi, Jenny. It's my car. <laughs> hey, Nat. Behind the scenes, <laughs> we got some lovely prints from our friends' um, exhibit, among other artists. Great Hope. Great Hope! It is blowing in the wind. Oh, look. Ooh. Ooh. I feel like this is very Cory. How to paradise at the pool party. Ooh, that one's cool too. <laughs> I like it. This reminds me of Yoko Ono, mm -hmm. so I'm into that. I like the shapes. I love shapes. There's a video of me from the early days of the podcast where I'm opening a bottle of Prosecco. Yeah, I was quite inebriated. <laughs> you just see me like... And Corey was like, oh, Jen, that's so phallic. <laughs> 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 it's just a two. Just, just why not? Doing it up. <laughs> <laughs> if you know Jackson Pollock's name, you don't think of him as Mr. Lee Krasner, despite the fact that she's creating very important. Right. I'm sending this over to Nat, and then we can work on. Sounds good. Meninas. Just a bunch of meninas. She has implants in her feet that allow her to perceive earthquakes taking place anywhere in the planet through vibrations in real time. The seismic sense allows her to feel moonquakes, the seismic activity on the moon. The fuck? What a trippy existence! <laughs> Nat, you had some great lines in this episode. <laughs> you sure did. <laughs> It's so crazy how just putting like little fruits into a champagne makes it look so much I know, fancier. I love it! I'm watching um, Beginning Sarah Marshall. Oh, me too! I just love the best that movie. movie! He's getting real drunk at the hotel bar and they give him like a pina colada and it just oh, has yeah. like, a, like a whole banana with like a lime like on the yeah. end. And he was like, look at this, not us, right buddy? Welcome to the podcast, I'm Corey. I'm Natalie. I'm Ginny. I'm Jen. And we are the Art History Babes. But I could be wrong, who knows? I don't know. I think it's synesthesia. Synesthesia though. sounds right, mm -hmm. and for the purposes you know, of. Synesthesia, amnesia, I think. Right? The older I, I get, you don't say the less amnesia. I, I don't say amnesia. amnesia. The fun thing about like American English, though, is like a lot of those differences, at least between us and the British, were just intentional to be oh, like, yeah. we're different from the British. The man's name, Vasily Kandinsky. Um, so Vasily Kandinsky was. <laughs> What happened? <laughs> By, By the man's name. name. Okay, I started. <laughs> Kandinsky. Kandinsky would describe this as a life-changing experience, and he said, I saw all my colors in spirit before my eyes. Wild, almost crazy lines were sketched in front of me. That is so cool. Mm -hmm. Just to feel like you're always tripping balls. <laughs> like, or people as large as possible. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> <laughs> it was a person as, as large, large as possible. And someone as I large will take as an possible. extra large person. <laughs> we just finished recording Synesthesia, uh, which is a crazy but fun episode. <laughs> we went in a lot of directions. Yeah, yeah. We went a lot of directions, but it's a really Look at all these kind of crazy topic, and it lends itself to that. Um, we're going to do a baby on Impressionism. Then I think maybe take a break and, and venture out into the woods. And then we're gonna do a hot take on Black Panther, because you have to, really. Also, lasagna break is happening. Lasagna. Lasagna break! It's an excellent check. Wow. So crisp and efficient.
<laughs> we just finished Art History Babes work weekend. <laughs> we did a lot. We recorded a lot. We ate a lot. We drank a lot. <laughs> And we laughed and we cried. Yeah. And it was just a whirlwind, really. Uh, thanks for joining us. Definitely go check out all the new content we created. And There's so much. Yeah. Um, and we will catch you guys next time. Love you. So, Art History Babe Work Weekend is all wrapped up. However, we have a handful of cool things going on this week. Tonight, I am recording with the Art for Sale podcast, which is a podcast that focuses on the connection between various artists and capitalism. So we're going to talk about my boy, William Morris. Super excited about that. Uh, later on in the week, we have an interview with a local CBS station. Hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. sense but William Morris was a very key part of that is he, he really believed that art was the marking of a healthy society but he also m believed that the beauty in art was the product of a society that valued things like individual craftsmanship and cooperative effort and valued equality and and really took care of its citizens um, so for William Morris, all of these ideas were very wrapped up together. Cutest boy in the whole world. A very special package just came in the mail. I just got my haul from featured artist Faith Sponsler. I went a little crazy on her Etsy shop recently. A very sweet note from Faith, because she's a babe. These are the t extra tarot card test prints that she sent me. Oh my god, I love it! Oh, you know me so well, Faith. The High Priestess and the Moon. Oh, these are perfect. Look at him howl at the moon. So Faith just recently completed a Zodiac series and I am a lover of all things Zodiac. And I had to get the Scorpio print. I'm obsessed with this. Instead of doing the typical Scorpion, she went for the Eagle. Um, if you are an astrology nerd, you know that the Scorpio has three different like manifestations. The Scorpion, the Eagle, and the Phoenix. And this is just stupid beautiful. Look at that. And then I also got the Leo print because, so Scorpio is my sun sign, and Leo, I'm a Leo rising. Um, also, I, I really love this print too, the Majestic Lion, I love it. The only thing is, I was considering also getting the Capricorn print because my moon sign is Capricorn, and I didn't just because of money, but I just feel like something's missing, so I'm probably going to get it. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. I did get the color-changing Pantheon print. Faith does these color-changing prints. She did a special limited edition color-changing Art History Babes print. Those are actually sold out, but she has so many more, and she has these really fun ones that are, you get to build. You get to do the color-changing yourself. I will take you along on my little artistic journey. We're going to boil some water and then let the print soak in the green tea and watch the magic happen. So you put the print in some kind of a dish that can hold the liquid. Going to remove the tea bags here. 
think I'm gonna leave them in the dish just to kind of keep the green tea flowing. Now you're supposed to cover the whole dish to keep the heat in. I guess it works better the hotter the tea is. The only thing I could find to use were my cutting boards, so that'll do. I let my print sit for about 20 minutes. The suggested time is 15 to 45. So I figure 20 should be good, hopefully. What a beaut. So I actually ended up putting the print back in the tea for an additional like 10 to 15 minutes. It took most of the evening to dry and then as you can imagine, after being submerged in water, it, the print was a little warped, so I placed it under some books and let it flatten out overnight. And now I'm ready to fold it. So I was all ready to start my craft project and I realized I didn't have any glue in the house. Picked up some glue, I sprung for the extra strong formula, paid the extra 50 cents for the good stuff. It's like two days after Easter, so all of the Easter candy is 50% off. So I definitely nabbed some Starburst jelly beans. They're the red ones too. Pretty excited about that. Let's make a Pantheon. Look at my little pantheon! How cute is he? to our alma mater, UC Davis, because we're being interviewed by a local CBS station. <laughs> so we did it, we made it, fam. This is the big time. Catch us on the 10 o'clock news, channel 13. This is my route, it's bringing me back. who got their start at UC Davis are getting a lot of attention for their avant-garde look at art. Thousands of listeners are tuning into their now locally produced podcast. The Babes Tape of four shows a month offering their color commentary on topics ranging from bad boys of Baroque to presidential portraits and dogs playing poker and they don't shy away from controversy. Knowing that people are enjoying what we're putting out there is... Yeah, it's like nothing else. Hoping their shows become an educational resource. We are living in an increasingly visual culture. We're bombarded by images every day, and learning art history is learning how to read images. Natalie, you were just on the local news. How do you feel? Great, thanks to my secret active. <laughs> First televised interview. Yay! We're feeling, we're feeling pretty cool about it. It was pretty fun. Yeah. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed our Art History Babes vlog. Obviously we'll keep getting better at this whole filming and editing thing so bear with us. We have a lot of other cool things planned for this channel. We're going to be doing a three book series where we do videos um, reviewing books on different topics involving art and creativity. 
we have a new featured artist and I'm gonna go visit him in the studio and talk to him. We're going to do some art adventure type vlogs. Actually, a lot of those might be up by the time this goes up, so definitely go check those out. Uh, if you just stumbled on this video and you have no idea who we are, please check out the podcast. All of that information will be linked down below. If you'd like to check out Faith's work and get some prints of your own, all of her information will also be down below. Strategically placed Zodiac prints. If there's any kind of content that you guys are interested in seeing from us on YouTube, um, definitely let us know in the comments below. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It's YouTube, you know how that works. Uh, also, we'll have our Patreon linked below if you want to help us to continue to make the podcast as well as new content for YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. This was really fun, a fun project for us. Hopefully it was just kind of interesting for all of our listeners to get a chance to see what we do and what our lives are like. Bye!